the most surprising thing is um, is can uh, have the jurisdiction of mainland China over Hong Kong in some uh, complicated cases, and uh, people can be extradited back into mainland for trial. And for this kind of decision, uh, Hong Kong people uh, has no power to uh, launch the judicial review uh, to check whether it is right or not because it is uh, of the utmost uh, national security. Also, uh, there's certain kind of uh, crimes that uh, can be uh, sent to life sentence. For example, like uh, vandalization, uh, if you uh, damage certain kind of uh, traffic uh, lights and also blockage of uh, government facilities, this may also treat it as kind of uh, fleeching the law or terrorism. I think this is a very uh, serious one. Yeah, that's right. So the terrorism, all the, the vandalism and the violence that we saw in MTR last year in the protests, uh, it now constitutes a terrorism under this new law. Uh, with the speed in which this was legislated, about six weeks from when we first heard about it to when it has actually gone into effect, what does this say about China, the mainland authorities' confidence in the Hong Kong administration, uh, the fact that they had to take matters into their own hands? Yes, uh, this is very uh, Chinese characteristics. Uh, they make the law uh, by themselves and then using their principle to do it. The main principle is uh, the confidence of their own system. Uh, so uh, this in fact really changed the common law system uh, to open a, a backdoor in the Hong Kong whole legal system that uh, China can has a jurisdiction here. They can set up their office to enforce the law, to direct uh, the Hong Kong government uh, to enforce the law. And in certain cases, they can uh, trial the law uh, by themselves. And you can challenge it. Uh, and uh, even for foreigners, uh, if you uh, uh, violate those law in foreign country, but you come to Hong Kong and this law also affects uh, your freedom, you may also face kind of uh, restriction on this. So I think uh, this law is uh, very powerful and very Chinese characteristics. Until the last moment, one hour before the law uh, and act, it is uh, being published. So uh, what can you say about that? Uh, it is uh, Hong Kong is a free and open uh, society. It has very good reputation uh, on its legal system. But this kind of law affecting everyone in Hong Kong and a lot of uh, uh, international community uh, and business in Hong Kong, but you just uh, publish it one hour before it uh, an act. So uh, this is uh, not transparent enough.